Here's a question I get fairly often. I purchased a hard drive and it shows up as a smaller storage capacity in Windows. For example, I purchased a 500 gigabyte hard drive and in Windows, it shows up as 465 gigabyte. What happened to the remaining storage space? Well, the first answer is you didn't lose any storage space. This is normal and it's due to a difference in numbering systems. Let me explain. First of all, I have a system here that just happens to have a 500 gig hard drive. Disk zero is 465.76 gigabytes. You might also see this as 465.66 gigabytes, depending on the hard drive and the system. So again, this is normal. This is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So let's explain why that is. It's going to be due to the difference in measurement between the hard drive manufacturer and the Windows operating system. Essentially, hard drive manufacturers use the base 10 numbering system, the decimal system, where a kilobyte equals 1000 bytes. But Windows internally uses the base 2 system, the binary system so that this data storage can be compatible with RAM. In this case, a kilobyte equals 1,024 bytes. So in Windows, each kilobyte unit is slightly larger by 24 bytes. Therefore, you end up with a smaller number of gigabytes in total. If you were to do the math, it would look like this. 500 billion divided by 1,024 times 1,024 times 1,024. And you would do the multiplication first and then divide the two numbers. And you'd come up with the 465.66 gigabytes. And if we were to do that here in the calculator, first we'd do the multiplication, 1,024 times 1,024 times 1,024, and you get 10,073,741,824. So just remember that number. If we take the hard drive manufacturer's drive size, which is 500 billion bytes, 500 gigabytes, it's 500 billion because they're using the base 10 system. And we divide that by that number that we just got, the 1024 to the third power. Again, 10 billion, uh, 10 billion, 73 million, 741,824, I think. And press enter. We'll get the answer there. 465.66 gigabytes. So it's the same amount of storage space, just measured differently. And by the way, going further, when dealing with the base 10 system, a kilobyte is usually listed as KB, note the lowercase k. And it's a kilobyte and it's equal to a thousand bytes. You would use this numbering system when dealing with networking data transfer and, of course, manufacturer specified hard drive capacity. But when dealing with the base two system, a kilobyte is more accurately referred to as a kibibyte. Yes, a kibibyte though this isn't often used because it's confusing. It's listed as KB, and this time note the uppercase K, and that equals a kibabyte, which is 1,024 bytes. And you use these numbers, the base two system, whenever you are moving or storing data inside the computer. Again, remember that kibabyte is rarely used because it confuses the issue. So there's a, the answer as to where did my storage space go? Now, you never lost anything. You've always had the same storage space. It's just measured differently.